Season 8 is here, which means the game is broken once again. I know, shocking, but we here at Top 5 Gaming need to bring these glitches to your attention so that Epic Games can fix this stuff and so that you can avoid them. Well, at least some of them. Before we get into the video, I just want to quickly remind you guys that for the next couple of weeks, we're going to be giving away eight different codes for V-Bucks every single video in video on all consoles. All you have to do to enter to win a code is like, subscribe, and comment down below for the giveaway. And if you're on PC, you're going to have to join our Discord for your chance to enter where we will be personally sending out to a additional vouchers for that you can use for V bucks. So good luck with that. Obviously I want you to win. Not, not all the other people watching. <laughs> of course not. It's all about you, Bay. <laughs> I don't know if you've checked the item shop recently, but there's some heat in there. So use code T5G when you pick it up. It helps support us so we can keep bringing you guys videos like these. But without further ado, Fred hit it. Number 10 players not dropping mats when they die. One of Fortnite's biggest features that sets them apart from other battle royales is the building. It's something we've all come to love and hate. Everyone knows you need 10 materials to build ramps, wall stairs, or pyramids in Fortnite. Well, when Epic was designing the system, they added in a drop materials on death feature so that when you're fighting a solo duo or squad in Fortnite, they'll drop 50 metal, wood, and brick. It's a really nice feature that we don't really think about and lets us get back in the action versus mining in the middle of the game. Unfortunately for us though, with the release of season eight, the material drop feature was glitched and didn't work with the release of the season. I'm assuming it may have been removed. Players and streamers quickly noticed the bug within hours of the 8.0 update being released, causing Epic to address it immediately. And later in the day, Epic put out a hot patch, fixing the issue for players worldwide. It's little bugs like that that affect gameplay that Epic put as a top priority. Let's hope it doesn't break the next season as well. And let's also hope that there's no mat duplication glitches going around. Number nine, under the volcano. One of Epic's ways to pull players into the new season is the new POIs on the map. Whether it be named or unnamed, when you drop into the new season, you always want to check out what's new nearby. In Fortnite Season 8, one of the most notable POIs that had been added is the new volcano. It's shown off in the new cinematic trailer and has its fair share of references around the map. One of the features of the volcano is the air hole. You drop into the middle of a volcano, a blast of air will push you up if you get too low. Well, players have discovered a glitch where if you dive down the center and deploy your glider, you can glide into a wall breach inside of the King's Throne area, granting you immunity from incoming bullets and the lava within. Once inside, you can explore other areas of the volcano and pretty much go anywhere you want. This glitch is very easy to do and it's at a new POI where lots of people go, so glitchers are using it to get easy eliminations. This hasn't been addressed by Epic, but will hopefully be fixed in the next patch. Number eight, the glitch where if you conga with ice skates, they never run out. This one's a little strange and honestly pretty fun. And honestly, I hope they don't remove this, but everybody knows with season seven, Epic added a new snow biome to Fortnite. And with that, they brought ice skates or ice feet rather in, in blocks. <laughs> you see, when you walk into a chill or a frozen ice, you get ice blocks on your feet, allowing you to slide around the map and down hills for a short amount of time. The ice skates have been seen in Fortnite creative maps as a way to make maps harder. But what if the ice never broke? Imagine sliding around for as long as you want without having to worry about the ice running out. Well, as it turns out, you can. With Season 8, a new emote called Congo was introduced as a Tier 31 of the Season 8 Battle Pass. It's a tropical-like dance that adds to the new tropical look of the Fortnite map. And well, if you use this emote while well, you have the ice skates, the ice will never break. We don't know how this works or how it's even possible possible, but it seemingly exists. Seeing this as an almost game-breaking bug, we will probably see this fixed in patch 8.1 or if it's urgent patch 8.0.1. So if you have the conga emote and want to slide around the map, start dancing before it's patched, before they fix this, if they decide to fix. <laughs> Please don't fix it. I love this. <laughs> Number seven, Earhart's hair has become a buggy mess on mobile. Season eight has brought a lot of bugs, but some are so strange that we don't even know how they exist. There's a skin in Fortnite called the Earhart skin, and it's of course inspired by the pilot Amelia Earhart and could be bought for 1200 V-Bucks. With the release of season eight, a strange glitch has popped up exclusively for this skin and exclusively for mobile. You see, if you own the Earhart skins and log into Fortnite after the 8.0 update on mobile, you'll see a strange headgear glitch. Her hair will turn into a spiky, glitchy mess that cannot be fixed. But why? What could have Epic done that screws up her headgear only and only on mobile? There's no explanation for why this glitch exists or how it happened, but we'll probably see this fixed with a patch coming soon, most likely with version 8.1. I wonder if there are any other skins that have this headgear gear glitch that just haven't been found yet. I, I guess we'll find out in the coming days. But in at number six, we've got the auto run bug. Everybody loves the auto running feature. When it was first added with patch version 2.3.0 back in January of 2020,
2018. It received positive feedback. It could be activated by Equal or Numlock on PC or double clicking the stick on console. It was a feature barely any battle royales had at the time and let our delicate thumbs have a break from running all day. And in season eight, the auto run has been broken. That's right. If you try an auto run in the 8.0 update, you will not be able to. Just like the materials glitch, this glitch was immediately picked up by players and streamers. It was already addressed by Epic and at the time of making this video, it hasn't been patched yet. It will most likely be fixed via a hot patch soon and won't need a title update. Until then, your thumbs will have to suffer the horrible conditions and you'll actually have to run. <laughs> In at number five, we've got one bandage for 300. Whoa, what? Everybody loves sales. Whether it's Boxing Day, Black Friday, or a sale on the game you really want, you gotta love them. Well, there's a strange glitch going on with vending machines in Fortnite right now. If you go around the map and find a purple vending machine, there's a chance you could see the rip-off deal, bandages for 300 wood. I mean, who on earth would buy bandages for 300 I mean, but wait, there, there's more. Not only is it a total rip-off, but you could only get one bandage from it. I mean, what were the vending machine gods thinking when they came up with this? Jokes aside, Epic must have been tweaking the vending machines and accidentally put this in as a funny glitch. It'll probably be patched pretty soon in an upcoming update, but go ahead and grab your Gucci bandages while you still can, because in it, the number four spot, we've got a game showing random players in your party. Imagine dropping into a game of squads in season eight, getting a couple kills, then checking the pause menu to see how you rank up against your friends, only to find out that there's another squad appearing on there. For some reason, with the 8.0 patch, if you press the pause menu in game, there's a chance that you can see another squad there, including their name, platforms, and kills. The reason this feature exists is because of the team rumble mode, where if you press start there, you can see the stats of some of your teammates, and it seems that this has bled over to Battle Royale because this is the sort of glitch that you can see kills of another enemy squad. This could easily be exploited. If there are two squads left, you'll know how to attack your enemies based on their skill level. And you'll have to be lucky though, as they probably won't be the last squad, but still crazy to think about how easily it could be exploited. But in number three, we've got creative causing base synth notes to disappear from created islands. Creative mode in Fortnite is great. It was added at the start of season seven and has brought us tons of fun experiences after only being out for three months. It was even part of the overtime challenges, which allowed us to get the Season 8 Battle Pass for free. But one of the most creative <laughs> ways Fortnite Creative has been used is the use of the music blocks. Music blocks were added in at the end of January, so players could create songs and rhythms in Fortnite, much like we would back on Minecraft. Many creative things have already come out because of this, but with the Season 8 update, Epic seems to have screwed it up. Right now, when you go into any music blocks map featuring the bass synth block, they won't be there. There's, there's a current bug disabling them from spawning, and it's causing issues for the players that put in hard work on their music music block tracks. Epic has advised people not to load up creative maps as they could become permanently removed from your island, screwing up your songs or tracks. Hopefully this is on Epic's list of bugs to fix as it's a really disappointing one. But in number two, we've got the cannon glitch. Season eight brought the theme of pirates to Fortnite, bringing all sorts of pirate themed items like treasure, gold coins, and cannons. That's right, you can now drive movable cannons around the map and shoot at players dealing a ton of damage to them. It's all about accuracy with this gun, but not everyone wants to use it the way it's intended to be used. Players have already discovered if you drive the cannon off of a small ledge so that the barrel faces the ground, you can shoot the cannon and rocket yourself into the air. You can still take fall damage while using the cannon, so the launch glitch is a little bit useless, but it's just a matter of time until streamers start doing suicide snipes using the cannon to get a victory. Now, because of the fire rate, you can only shoot once or twice before falling to the ground, but I'm sure people will combine this with bouncers in creative or launch pad to make it even better. Who do you think will be the first to pull off a cannon trick shot? My guess is it's probably already been done. <laughs> As for the honorable mentions, we've got the third eye glitch with the Cuddle Team Leader. Season eight brought us new skins, gliders, pickaxes, but most importantly, new emotes. At the start of every season, there's always a glitch or two relating to the new content. Now, season eight's emote glitch has been found and it's in the form of the new Spyglass emote. The Spyglass emote is a rare 500 V-Buck emote that was featured in the daily item shop on February 28th, 2019. It's a cool animation where your character perches on the box and looks through a spyglass with their eye and players owning the Valentine's skin, the Cuddle Team Leader, have discovered that if you do this emote, you'll look into the spyglass via your third eye, which is essentially the middle of your forehead. The reason this glitch exists is that the cuddle team leader's eyes are more to the side of the head than other characters. So when the game gets told to zoom into the left eyes, it zooms where it should usually be. If Epic wants to fix this, they'll have to change how the emote works. And it's such a small problem that it might not be fixed right away, but nonetheless, still something that we can have a fun laugh about. But in a number one, we've got diving down from the battle bus glitch. Choosing where you want to drop in Fortnite is essential to the outcome of your game. You want to drop somewhere because of its loot or because it's far away from the battle bus. It's always something you want to think about. Well, in season eight, it seems that jumping out of the battle bus is broken. 
Well, sort of anyway. In Season 8, if you jump out of the battle bus after thanking the handy bus driver, you'll probably start diving down to gain speed. Once you pull back up to level out and get some distance, you have a chance to get slowed down completely. You heard me right. Sometimes when you're dropping and you pull, the game will take all of your glide speed you just earned and remove it, making you slow down and not allowing you to get any distance whatsoever. This glitch has been noticed by plenty of streamers and community members getting blasted all over social media like Reddit and Twitter. While this glitch hasn't been addressed by Epic, they'll be complaining around. This is sure to get patched with the next update to Fortnite, so stay tuned for that. But this has been our list on the top 10 Fortnite Season 8 glitches that broke the game. Be sure to enter for your chance to win some V-Bucks for that giveaway. I really hope you guys enjoy those codes and they serve you well. We wanted to do something really special. We're giving a total, we're giving away a grand total of 150 codes over the course of the next couple of weeks in celebration of Season 8. Also, we didn't really celebrate, I don't even think we celebrated our 2 million subscriber milestone. So thank you guys for this tremendous amount of support recently. We could not do the show without you. And it means so much to us that you guys consistently care enough to click on our videos and show us some love. So thanks for checking out the video. We hope you guys have a wonderful day. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, push notifications on, and keep it here on Top 5 Gaming. Bye-bye.